Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Awesome with Gun and 60 Detailing. We are going to be comparing two carpet extractors. Now, these guys are more on the budget end. You can find them for around $100 to about $130, $140. I'll leave a link in my description below. But these are two um, extractors that I've used quite a bit over time, and I'm curious which one works better. So we're going to be covering it um, today with doing an actual test. And then at the end of the video, I'll just be sharing kind of my thoughts, um, some different functionality of each unit as I use them. Uh, for reference, I filled both tanks just with hot water, no solution whatsoever. Uh, we are going to be doing one side um, with the Hoover, one side with the Bissell, and then we're going to reverse it. I do have my drill brush and then I have my favorite carpet cleaning solution. This stuff smells amazing. If you guys haven't used it, it's Carpet Miracle. I'll leave a link in the description below. But at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of money to spend on carpet extractors. Um, you can obviously find ones that, you know, are well above $1,000 to do way better than these. However, I'm just curious to see how well each one of these works and which one is better. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna spray the solution down, use the drill brush, and then we'll do the Hoover on this side, we'll do the Bissell on this side, and then we'll do the Hoover on this side, Bissell on this side. All right, try doing about the same on each side. All right, we are gonna spray it 15 more times on each side just to make sure it's, it's plenty wet. All right, so what we're gonna do is, you know, obviously each one of these extractors has the ability to squirt water. You can obviously fill this with a cleaning solution. The first pass that I do horizontally like this, I'm gonna be doing it with water. The next pass that I'm gonna be doing, I'm just gonna be doing it dry. Um, and then I'm gonna do one more pass, dry, dry, and then dry going that way, just so it can be as fair as I possibly can get it. But just wanted to explain to you guys, that's exactly how I'll be extracting these. Let's go ahead and start with the Hoover. All right, so anyways, guys, that is the Hoover side. We're gonna jump on over to the Bissell side and start doing that, do the exact same technique, exact same passes. Then we're gonna switch sides and see which one does more.
right, that is the Bissell side. Um, just kind of filling each side. Um, they both feel pretty damp. This side maybe feels a little bit more damp than this one does. Um, in terms of just what they extracted, um, I would say that the Hoover has extracted quite a bit more just from looking at it now, but we are gonna reverse it. Um, my initial thoughts are, I think the Hoover has better suction power. Um, this is the second Bissell that I've had. The first one, and these Bissells, and I actually have um, the Pet Green Pro as well, the bigger one, um, but these hoses have a tendency to break here, and then these have a tendency to break off as well. So onto the second one that we've had, but my initial reactions, even though this side might have been a little bit more dirty for this one to collect more, um, is that the Hoover has a lot more suction power. So it'll be interesting to see if it can pull more off of here because you saw in some of the passes that it didn't look like it was pulling anything off. So let's go ahead and switch them. Um, I am gonna spray down the mat just a couple times, um, same on each side, just to make sure there's some product there. And then uh, we will do a final comparison. And on this final pass, um, I am not going to be using uh, the feature just to squirt the water down. I'm just going to be doing it all dry. So something that immediately jumped out at me, and hopefully you guys saw it on camera, um, especially on these passes, going vertical on the mat, you could see that this was pulling a lot more when you kind of rewind it to the Bissell when it was going down through here, it wasn't really grabbing much. Now, I have a sneaky suspicion that if I use the Hoover on the top piece of the mat, that it's actually gonna still be pulling um, even more off of it, uh, where the Bissell really wasn't grabbing much. So let me just kind of try that just really quickly. I'll compare the tanks and then I'll share with you guys my final thoughts. both of the tanks just so we can see them in terms of what they collected so this is the hoovers you can see um, in my opinion ounce per ounce and I'm not gonna measure it out exactly that was all that was in the Bissell um, there really wasn't in there and you could argue that yeah this side was more dirty and I would say that's true but even when I did the Hoover over here it still pulled a lot off of it where that didn't. And one thing I noticed just for me doing this is I had to hold the mat down really firm when I was doing the Hoover. The suction power on the Hoover, in my opinion, is better. And I also think there is some truth to why there is more um, product at the bottom here. 
you know, and even when I went back over this again, where this Bissell wasn't doing as good, it didn't do it. So here are my final thoughts. I think the Hoover is a better unit. Um, I think it's, I think it has better suction power. So in my opinion, the Bissell, these things will pop off over time. They're just kind of hot glued on there. Um, they just kind of, kind of clip into place. Uh, the Hoover, it's just a lot more friendly and just in terms of using it, just how it goes onto the surface. You guys can see here, nozzle to nozzle, how much I just like the Hoover. I just feel like it can get more flat to the surface. Uh, I feel like it has uh, more area to suck up more. One thing that I've noticed um, with these Bissells is these cords right here are really fragile. They will break. Um, I already had one break on one of these before. Um, the Hoover looks like it's made of just about the same material, but as you push on the hose, um, it, it feels a little bit more rigid, a little bit sturdier. So over time, I'll be able to kind of give you guys, you know, a good comparison of what that looks like. Now, as it pertains to the tanks, one reason I really like the Hoover is it's just really easy to access um, the tank, remove it, pop it back in. It's really easy. Um, as it pertains to this guy, um, you know, that has a plug that you can easily extract the water and stuff out of it. Um, here, sure, you could kind of dump it up that way. You could unscrew right here. It's just not as easy, in my opinion. Um, the Hoover, hands down, I just think just does a, such a better job of just its ergonomics. Um, you know, on the Hoover, you have the ability to also, um, you have this hose cleaning port that you can hook it up to. Um, and I think on some of the Bissells they do, um, I don't know on this one if it necessarily has it, but as you're looking at the price for both of these, uh, the Hoover is cheaper. Last time I checked, you get it for around hundred dollars. And I think they even have a new unit out that might even be a little bit better than this. So I'll be curious to try it. But as it pertains to the Bissell, the Hoover, in my opinion, guys, just from using these, um, I've gone through two of these. I've tried the bigger guy of this that um, is blue. It's, I think it's the Pet Green Pro. Um, the Hoover, hands down, has better suction capability. It's got better ergonomics and it just works better, in my opinion, for the money. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are watching this for the first time and haven't checked out my channel, check out my other videos. Please subscribe. I'll leave a link to, the, to all the products I use today in the video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.